uh, or Martin. Many <laughs> names. <laughs> yeah, to give uh, to give to give an example as uh, he explained before. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So, so years ago, it's, it's, a, it's a sign, just like wearing a Rolex at yeah. your arm. <laughs> hey, but all the infrastructure in the village. Ah, oh, it's deteriorating our future generations, and I'm gonna ask whether this. So guys, now back to my channel. So let uh, Mas Martin or Kaka Martin uh, or Martin. <laughs> many names. Yeah, to give uh, to give to give an example as uh, he explained before. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So so years ago. Yeah. Uh, at first, I have to say that uh, a friend of mine, mm -hmm. his mother, she is a traditional healer. Okay. Uh, she passed away now, but she was a traditional oh, healer. Okay. And she was healing like uh, common people, but she was also healing uh, people from the royal family of Maroc. Like she was really, and her, they say, they call it a gift. Mm -hmm. Her gift was to stop, uh, how do you call this when you are burned? Ah, the wounds okay. from uh, from the hot water, water or okay. from okay. fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and, burn, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. And you know, for me, because before I was considering things in different way, I was making jokes about it with him. Ah. And uh, then a friend of mine, yeah. uh, she was burned. Yeah. And uh, my first reflex was to ask this friend and call him and ask him his mother uh, name, yeah. mother number. Yeah. You know, it's funny because you spend 20 years making jokes, yeah. but suddenly in case of emergency, that's the first thing you think about. Okay. So we called his mother. Yeah. She said, uh, we cannot, uh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I'm really tired, but I will try to do something. Give her to me. Okay. And you know, if I had not seen that, I would not believe it. Okay. That's a good example. Okay. I saw all the it, it, here. It was red. Oh, you know, I saw the slowly, slowly the skin taking its normal color. Huh? Just a small point here mm -hmm. who was red, mm -hmm. and the burn disappeared just because of this person. Right. And for me, it was a kind of miracle, or mm -hmm. well, I don't know. Uh. But then. Still, we went to hospital, mm -hmm. and there in the hospital, it was in Clinique de Carouche, maybe you know, mm -hmm. it's not far away from you. Mm -hmm. And in Clinique de Carouche, uh, the doctor was um, a friend. Okay. That's why we could tell him, because if it was a normal doctor, we would have not said him, because yeah. we would have said, uh, guys, just go to Dr. Jiwa because you are crazy. Okay. But because he, he was a friend, we were feeling confident enough to tell him, Okay, you know what happened? We called the, the mother of this friend and 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 he said, yeah, but for us it's common. We do have numbers here. And we do call and in uh, HUG, uh -huh. in like Central Hospital of Geneva, which is one of the best in the world. Mm -hmm. They do have numbers of people. They call them to stop either uh, this kind of wounds mm -hmm. related to heat, yeah, yeah. fire or water yeah. or whatever and also to stop uh, several bleedings, hemorrhages. Okay, yeah. And you know, I was so surprised because oh. Oh. for me, there was a clear border, traditional healers mm -hmm. and uh, modern healers. Yeah. And when I learned that modern healers, they work with traditional healers, huh? then I said, okay, as usual, the truth is somewhere in between. Okay. I'm, I'm for sure uh, many, many, many of these traditional healers they are just people wanting to be pure. Right. But, but, but my wife can confirm that many modern healers in uh, Geneva, they are also inefficient people who just want not to take to rip you off, but just to take the bill from you. <laughs> that's, uh, that's can be also, that's, a, that's very possible. That's yeah. very possible. I, I agree with that, yeah. But uh, uh, talking about this, um, uh, the, 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 how do you call it, the traditional healer, yeah. The, this person has a spirit. I mean, has this, uh, how do you call it? Uh, they spiritual call it power. Gift. They call it a gift. Yeah, spiritual power to heal person uh, in certain ways. But yeah, it's very rare. Yeah, it's very rare, non common, uh, uncommon thing in, in the world. Yeah, yeah. But another side of, uh, another dark side of Switzerland. Yeah. Isn't it uh, uh, expensive? 
is also a Dutch site or is very common. The what? The, the living is it really expensive. The living costs uh, in, in in Switzerland or as from canton to canton are very you know from canton to canton is different. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, of course. Um, I don't know whether you associated uh, this uh, living cost as a dark side of, uh, of Switzerland. You know, definitely, because it makes it for other people from out of Switzerland mm -hmm. uh, difficult to visit Switzerland. Uh, that's why when you see foreigners, I mean outsiders in Switzerland, mm -hmm. most of the time they, are, they belong to richer part of society. Mm -hmm. uh, because like if, if you have like a normal budget, and you want to spend time in uh, in mountains mm -hmm. or sea lakes, then you compare the price of France mm -hmm. or Germany or uh, Italy, which are the surrounding countries. They also have a lot of beauty to offer. Mm -hmm. And then you compare it with the price of Switzerland. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, definitely, you don't go to Switzerland, and okay. and that's why that's why Switzerland has become kind of. A, let's say prestigious destination uh -huh. because when you go to Switzerland you show your social status uh, right. yes of course oh, wow. if you can't afford okay if you can't afford holidays yeah. in Switzerland it's, it, it's a sign it's just like wearing a Rolex at yeah. your arm <laughs> hey where is it <laughs> <laughs> no 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and your Ferrari uh, okay. you, you came with your Ferrari you know, like this kind of like uh, signs of social status right yeah yeah Tesla also becoming uh, expensive. Uh, yeah. Now. Oh, you have so, a Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in my dream. I'm, uh, I'm in environmentalist, guys. I go everywhere in Switzerland. Everywhere in Switzerland by my by my bicycle. By, by my by my bicycle. <laughs> it's so difficult. Pa que espada, pa que se peda. Yes, pa que se peda. <laughs> so um, maybe Mas Martin uh, would like to add what I think that side of Indonesia. Especially, I don't know whether it's, 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 I cannot generalize anyway, guys. But in some certain, some areas in Indonesia, um, they trash their garbage easily. It is not very nice. It's a dark side, I would say. Well, in Switzerland, you cannot, you know, um, waste or litter your garbage everywhere. Even though I know some guys, they litter uh, their garbage. Um, number two or um, number two is yeah, like, anywhere uh, anywhere yeah I know that the young young guys oh like this. I knew I knew my, by myself but this is only one out of like hundred but in Indonesia the dark side is that the people uh, they don't really care about the environment uh, they they trash their uh, either uh, kitchen waste or uh, the household waste everywhere it is not this is dark side but I think this is going to be evolved. Like uh, people will understand, uh, they will. They, people will understand about the, the environment, uh, so that they will. They will. Uh, they will not trash uh, everywhere anymore. Yeah. But I don't know when. <laughs> so. Yeah, I have to. I, I completely approve you. Uh, I agree with you. Okay. And it's a collective disaster in Indonesia. This littering. Oh. Uh, yeah. So bad. Yeah, Indonesia is such a beautiful country but at the same time being so ugly with all the garbage everywhere but you know what uh, if I try to understand it mm -hmm. uh, I would not say it's people's responsibility uh, because or only partially people's responsibility okay. because you know what can you do with your garbage uh, when you don't have uh, all the infrastructure okay. uh, to process the garbage Right. to collect it, mm -hmm. then to burn it or to recycle it. Yeah. Like in many, many parts of Indonesia, these infrastructure are missing. So yeah. the only, oh, the only uh, thing that can people do with this garbage is just to, to throw it away. Okay, I also think that, uh, the, so the responsibility uh, is partially to people, but yeah. mostly for me, for the state who did not build all these infrastructures all right. and also for the enterprises because the enterprises it's crazy the way they sell things in small amounts yeah. and you have more plastic right. than uh, you, can, you can buy so many things um, just one small amount or when you buy a bigger amount 
you open the box. Uh -huh. Let's say, let's talk about candies. Okay. You, so you open uh, the, the, the um, I don't know how, the bag of candies. Mm -hmm. And what do you have inside? Candies in their own uh, plastic. Plastics. There's the small glasses yeah. that cannot be reused. Ah. A bottle can be reused. Okay, yeah. They can sell uh, water yeah. or uh, benzene, yeah. anything. Yeah, right. But there's a small uh, plastic. Plastic inside, inside yeah, the there's box. Small plastic glasses, plastic. Yeah, yeah. There's small glasses, mm -hmm. it's just one dose. Mm -hmm. And people, you find it everywhere. So, you see, as you, I, I, would, I would not judge. Uh, yes, uh, the, the plastic and the garbage is an ecological disaster mm -hmm. um, in, uh, in, uh, in Indonesia. Yeah. And yes, people do have their responsibility. Yeah. That's why uh, education can be useful. Uh, and yes, there are many, many associations now educating children, jangan, buat oh, sampah, sampah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. But, 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 you know, uh, the the solution for me is collective. The state should be more active on active this, this and force enterprises not to sell in smaller amount. Yeah, yeah. And but it's a huge problem because why do people buy small amount? Mm -hmm. Because they have small wages, small right. salaries. Mm -hmm. Give them more salaries, bigger salaries, so they can uh, buy in bigger amount, yeah. and they don't need to go all the time. Uh, very satu task chill shampoo. Yeah, yeah, you, you know? shashe, yeah shashe. exactly. Okay. Yeah, I got what you mean. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But that, uh, yeah, uh, living. You know, if we have an urban life, yeah, people who live in the city is a way smaller than those in the village. Yeah. So in the city, I mean Surabaya. Let's mm -hmm. talk about my hometown. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, infrastructure. Yeah. For uh, for managing the waste. Yeah. Although there are still many people, uh, many uh, residents are throwing their rubbish uh, as they like. But um, yeah, you're right. But in the village, ah, oh, it's, you know, it's a lack of manage waste management. Yeah. And uh, it's not very easy also to, uh, to, to manage, but there's supposed to be a willingness from the government, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But don't go anywhere, my friends. <laughs> Okay. Because we, we, we have already uh, spoken a, a lot about this dark side of both countries. The next one would be how the uh, corruption, the uh, uh, collusion, the nepotism, kaka in, in Bahasa Indonesia, um, how de deteriorating our future generations. And I'm gonna ask whether these kaka and uh, practices also happens in Switzerland. Don't go anywhere, stay tuned. Stay tuned! <laughs> I became very upset to him because he asked for... You know, if someone asks me money... And then uh, people understand how things happen in, in Indonesia or how things operate in Indonesia. For opening business, you need to have uh, uh, you know, uh, to pay someone this yeah, You know, uh, there are some names mm -hmm. in Geneva mm -hmm. famous for doing this job or this job. Oh,